Uh, okay, I just decided to make a tutorial today on how to use Spark Edit for uh, Halo PC. Spark Edit is basically just a program that uh, lets you move around objects in a Halo map and like copy them and stuff really, really easily. Uh, there should be a link to the program in the video description. Okay, uh, first open up your program, Spark Edit and then go over to file open cache file and then uh... go to your uh... uh... c program files microsoft games halo maps or whatever directory you saved halo in of course and then find the map that you want to edit the stuff in uh... i'm just going to use blood gulch because that really is the best example here plus it is my favorite map then it should load your uh... stuff right here and then it should have line. If you want to get rid of the little textured line mesh things, then you can, uh, you can change your view here. Like you can do the weird point view, uh, wireframe, uh, shaded wireframe. What well, we just had, and uh, one with. I usually use textured because I just I only really use this to move stuff around. Okay, you can move your camera by going to help. If you can't remember, just go help controls and then camera controls are W, A, S, D to move the camera around. C is really easy. Shift is to move the camera down, space is to move it up. And if you hold right click and you move around the mouse, it'll tilt it just like an FPS. If you double right click, then it'll always be tilting. See, uh, first I click in the box, like a flash game, then see like uh, W, A, S, D, and then uh, Shift, space, hold, hold mouse, right click, and woo! I can move around the camera. The box might be erratically moving around. And then if I double right click, it's moving without me holding down right click. Okay, now let's get in actually doing something. Okay, I'll, I'll move down. Here we go. Here's how. If you, say if you want more than, uh, say that you want more than some things up limit here. Right, this rock. I'll make a copy of this rock. First click the selection tool, this one, the little yellow box and the cursor, and then click on the rock. Whoops. I didn't do something really. Wait a sec. First you have to go to mode scenery before we do this. So mode scenery. Cause that's scenery. You know, like if it's a if you want to move a weapon, then you go to mode. You go to weapons. Oh and then if you want uh you know yeah okay that's just how you do it okay so then I want scenery and then, whoops I almost forgot to do something important I need to back okay now uh okay so now we have scenery selected and stuff okay now we click here now we click on the rock and it'll change then if you want to move the rock say I want to move it right there for whatever reason just click the little hand to move it and then click and drag and then if I want to rotate the rock I just click the rotation tool then click and drag and then if I want two rocks you just click the copy tool and then if I want to throw away the selected one I I think you can press delete yeah you can press delete or you can uh, select it and then press the trash can that's really easy to use I mean it's extremely easy <laughs> Okay, here's another cool trick you can do with it. You can go to, uh, tools. Uh, see, these are just, this is, these are just selection, translate, and rotate. Uh, this is selection, this is translate, and this is rotate. So these are just, like, quick shortcuts to that. And then duplicate is just a quick, is just, this is a quick shortcut to duplicate. Uh, delete selection, this is just a quick shortcut to delete selection. Okay, add teleporter pair. This is cool. Look, here's, uh, I haven't done this because it's a different version that I usually use, so I'm not quite used to it. Look, here's, if you, uh, if I want a teleporter, say right, for some reason I want it right here. Oops, it's really high in the air, see? If you want to lower something, just hold control and then click and drag Gary, and it'll lower it. What? Can I talk to you for a second? No, not right now, just a sec. <laughs> and then, uh, then you just can click the teleporter right here. And then you can then make the arrow pointing where you want to enter the teleporter, and then you can put the other uh, the other teleporter wherever you want it to be, wherever you want to come out. So I could like 
I could like uh, move over and put it up on this cliff if I wanted to you know like I could go like right here and then I could have like uh then you can come out on the cliff you know it's really easy <laughs> this program is really easy to use you know like uh this is obviously a meta pack this is a spawn point and this is a spawn point for something else okay uh sorry about that or if there might be a quick glitch in the video right there, it's because I had to talk to my dad about something. Okay, uh... Uh... I think that the blue ones are spawn points. And the red ones have something to do with something else, like, uh... I think the this one is a king of the hill point. I have no idea about some of these, okay, I admit it, but, uh... You can figure them out on your own. What all? These are just, like, things to do with spawn points and stuff. One of them might be like a slayer spawn point and stuff, and yeah. So like there's, see this is an ex you know like the teleporters. See if you notice all the teleporters have these little things in them. The green doesn't is just a little uh, model on the thing. You're really walking into one of these. That's why if you jump into the teleporter at a certain angle, it doesn't always work. So like here are some grenades, and you know like you can move the grenades wherever you want. You can move all the weapons and copy them as much as you want. You know, like on those weird mods where they have like a hundred sniper rifles, this is all that they do. They just click select, click on the sniper. Oops. First you have to click here, of course, click weapons. They just click on the sniper. Uh, that's a weapon, right? It might be. I don't know if I'm selecting it. I'm sh might be MP equipment. Yeah, it is. That's equipment, not weapons. Uh, I don't know what weapons is. But, <laughs> but anyway, that's MP equipment. Then they just go like this. They're just like, woo! And they just make like a hundred sniper rifles. They're all inside the... See? A bunch of them are inside the basement. See? Then they just click and drag them all over and... Onto the base and woohoo. You know, it's, it's not very hard to do. And then, uh... This is really a really easy program to use. It's just easy. I mean, I figured out all this by myself. It's like... You can use it for other stuff that I'm not going to go over because I'm no I don't use it that much. And then this is all all I really use it for. Like here here's a uh, vehicle spawn points. You know, like say you only want one rocket warthog, this one over here, and you don't want this one to spawn. All you do is you just click on uh, first. You switch to vehicles. That's pretty annoying. There's no way I can fix that. Then you just can either click the trash can or just press delete on your keyboard. And then you, then that warthog will not spawn. Only this warthog will spawn. These where the vehicles are is where they'll spawn. So, say I wanted this warthog to like spawn on the roof of the base, I just hold Control and click and whoops, then uh, click and drag it over. See, it sometimes gets annoying, but it's not. It's see now it'll spawn and fall into the base. You could like put all the vehicles in the air and they'll all fall. In hit everyone when it starts <laughs> like right above the spawn points <laughs> sorry anyway anyway this is just it's really easy to do here yeah, there's also a way that you can controls will help you with stuff that you don't know you know like uh you know like if you just want it to go in the x direction or the y direction then uh z direction is up and down uh control mouse left click drag move up and down yeah, see, it's just, this is just extremely easy. So, like, if you do a control left click and drag on the, um, see, watch, control, if I have this leg, I control, and I drag, that'll, whoo, make it go around. If I do control alt with this rotational tool selected, then it'll turn it this way. So now the vehicle will spawn upside down. This is just really easy. You know, like, uh, I made some stupid video on a different site a really long time ago where it made like this weird cool hog track thing by like taking the rocks and trees and like making slaloms and stuff all around the base and you know that's just pretty much all the uh, everything see I think this is king of the hill right here anyway that this is pretty much all you need to know it's just kinda to get you familiar with the program it's pretty easy so uh, that's the end I think bye